Hey guys, Barrett is here and welcome back to Thorncraft 3. Today we're going to do some more research. So let's grab some items and get right into it. So we'll test some metalum. No. Test our potentia and machina. Here we go, machina again. So we have an unknown theory. Let's test ignis. No. Uh, let's see, this will probably be another golem core. So let's try these. Some wheat, some seeds. Maybe... Maybe some soul sand. Animus or vinculum. No. How about Permutatio? No. Maybe Victus? Possibly Messier? No. How about Lignum? No. Okay. What else can we try? How about some Lux? Some Karas? And some levers. Yeah. So Lux or Visum? Oh, okay, Visum. There we go. So we're research notes for the Arcane Ear. Okay. I'll try Karas. Try Imperato. Yep, Imperato's one. Alright, let's keep that one going. Get our sticks and our levers. Throw them in there. There we go. So we're at 47%. So we still don't have any more information. But it's an arcane ear, so I'm going to try some note blocks. Try some Sonus. Oh, okay, two aspects. Oh no, we just broke 50%. Okay, so sound is another aspect of the natural world that could use some study. Maybe it can be harnessed with magic to create a magical sensor of some kind. Okay, so we know those note blocks work, so let's make a few more of them. Like this, get four to start with. Oh, nothing. Wow, that might have just been some bad luck. Let's swap back to cursory. All right, we got a little bit. I wonder if there's a better way to obtain sound. Surely there's got to be. Just out of curiosity, what do we get from flint steel? Ah, nothing important. Gotta think, what do we have that makes sound? makes sound. Hmm, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just sleep through this night and I'll go cut some more trees down. Alright, I'm back. So, we've got some more wood now. Oops. So, let's make up some more note blocks. 
Yeah, let's just make eight of them. Get them in there. Go back to Thorrow. Come on, you can do it. There we go, 100%. And our last one is Aura. So, we've already looked at that. So, we need to find some more Aura. We might get that from Arrows. No, Arrows have Volato. Or I think the only aura we have is from feathers. So I guess I'll have to go kill some more chickens. Oh well, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I've got my feathers. And we've got lots of chicken that we can cook up now. So let's do our research on aura. There we go. So we've discovered the arcane ear. Learn that, and we'll get our Thormonomicon. So the arcane ear, shh, do you hear something? The arcane ear is a device that is capable of detecting the sound emitted from nearby note blocks. If it hears a note it recognizes, it will emit a short redstone pulse. The arcane ear needs to be tuned in a manner needs to be tuned in a manner identical to note blocks. The tone and note it listens for depends upon the material it is placed upon. Okay. Sonus, Aura, and Machina. For Essentia, it needs two arcane wood blocks, four gold, an iron, a zombie brain, and a redstone, and 30 Vs. Interesting. I'm not sure that I have a practical application for that though. When it hears a note block, it'll emit a redstone signal. Interesting, I'll have to look more into that. But for now, well, let's sleep through the night. And then we'll do some more research. Alright. Let's grab our metal, coal, our redstone. Pretty standard start for us now. So nothing from metal, potentia or machina. No, nothing from them. Uh, Ignis or Saxon? No. How about Lignum? No. Maybe Cognito, Aqua or Messis? Ah, uh, we've got something with Cognitio. Cognitio. Let's get that done. So, Advanced Stone Golem Worker. Okay. So, will it have Fractus or Saxon in it? No. Alright, let's get this stuff away. And let's see. We'll get our life. Maybe our permutatio. What else could we try? Um, how about some Lux or Visum? Karis, though I think Karis is a long shot. Alright, we'll give these a try. So, Victus. No. Permutatio. Yep, alright, Permutatio is part of it. Get that done. So we're at 55%. So, you think that by combining a normal stone golem with a brain in a jar, you might be able to create an intelligent and versatile golem. You only need a way to temper any evil that may result from the jarred brain. Okay. So we've got three more aspects, so let's try Lux and Visum. And I don't think Karis will be it, but we'll test it. No. Okay. 
So put this stuff away. So we're going to combine combine a golem with a brain in a jar. So we need to control it. So let's try some levers. Yeah. Try some Imperito. Mm, I think that was a part of it, it just didn't tick over any research. Let's make some more levers and get them in there. Yeah, there we go. And it's done. So Animus, which makes sense, and Purus because we're going to purify the taint, the evil from the jarred zombie brain. Makes makes sense. So we'll grab some soul sand. Get rid of that. That. Actually I can put my feathers away too. So yeah, soul sand and some silverwood leaves, which will get us our purus. There we go. And finally the animus. Almost there, done. Alright, so we've discovered the advanced stone golem worker. Learn that, check out Thormonomicon. Okay, so that pops up here. It's an upgraded stone golem. So, success! The result of placing a brain in a jar in stone golem's head has led to a golem capable of much more complex thoughts processes. You may have succeeded too well, however, as the golem has shown a disturbing independence. As a result, you think it best not to outfit it with any animation cores that would grant it even greater power. It functions in a similar manner to a normal stone golem, except you have six slots with which to limit the items it pulls from its home inventory. And you can individually assign the color for each of these slots. Oh, that's excellent! I was just thinking, well, this morning about setting up some kind of sorting system using golems. The only problem I had with that was that our basic stone golem can only move, I can only pick up and sort one item to one destination. But this, this opens up much more. So it'll have six slots and can go to six dis different destinations. So that's really cool. We could set up multiple advanced golems. Oh, but we need a stone golem worker that's smart. So, wait, we don't, we don't know how to make a smart golem yet. So does it have to be a smart golem? I think it does. Let's try and make one from our current golem and see what happens. So we'll just... We'll promote this brain in a jar to golem. Uh, what do we need? We need some slime balls. Or a slime ball. So in the infusion altar we also need 16 cognito, 8 victus and 8 animus. Okay, so we get 2 cognito from paper. So 8 paper. 8 soul sand. Oops, that's 9. 8 soul sand. And what was the last one? Uh, Victus, which we get two of from wheat, so four wheat. Okay, let's see if this works with just a regular stone golem. So it doesn't look like it, it's not bringing up at these requisites down here, so that looks like a negative. So I guess we'll have to go discover the smart golem core first before we can make one of these guys. Mm, 
that's that's the first time I think that we've come across. So we've researched something that we can't actually create yet, which is interesting. I thought it was. I thought the whole system was designed so that that wouldn't happen. It seemed that way anyway. But let's do more research. So we've got Cognitio done, and this is Golem Animation Core Intelligence. There we go. So you believe you will be able to modify the basic Golem Core, enabling you to create and control Golems that are much smarter than the norm. Alright, so this has got two more aspects. Let's test Purus. No. I don't think Lignum would be in there. Uh, we want the usual levers. I think for Imperato. Get a stack or well, a few of them. Give them a research. Yep, Imperato. There we go. And Permutatio for the last one. Of course. Good old seeds. So we'll get that one done. There we go. So the Golem Core, a uh, Golem Animation Core Intelligence. Check our Thormanomicon. Here we go. So this core gives any Golem created with it increased intelligence and reasoning power. They are able to perform more than one task at a time or make intelligent choices. So it's a basic core with a fire shard. Incognitio. Okay, I don't think that's... Is that the core we want? Let's find out. We'll make one. So we're going to need a basic animation core, which is some night ore. So let's see. Two coal... Two glowstone will give us some night ore. Oh, what the heck, let's just make a few pieces of night ore. Why not? Is the water. We have no water. Get our water boiling. We have saxum and plant in there. Let's, let's just release them, we're not worried about them. Alright, boiling, put these in there, there we go, get our night ore. So we've got leftover Vissum, Saxum, oh that's it, Vissum and Saxum. So let's, yeah, let's release the Saxum, we don't care about that, but we'll grab that Vissum. Actually how much Vissum do we have left over from a... One. So if we do one, two, three, four, was that right? We got ten. We want to get that to sixteen. So yeah, we'll do three more. Just to get an even sixteen. Uh, we get some water in there. And wait till it boils. There we go. Alright, throw our coal in. Oh, we overshot it there. Our coal. Now, glowstone. There we go. And that puts that at 16. And that's 6. We don't care about that. Okay, let's make. Uh, do we have any more jars? I'll put them, I'll put them over here. No, they're all full. Let's make a few more of them. Alright. There we go, plenty of them. So we'll just grab that Vissum. Put that in our chest. Uh, get some more water in there. Okay, so to make a basic core, we need eight motors and eight imperator. So, do we have any of that in here? Uh, 
Practice Vinculum. Nessus Lignum. No. Alright, so we'll need to make... How much was it? Eight? Yep, eight. So two minecarts. Actually, we'll use wood. Yeah. Ah, noisy spiders. So eight doors. I'll just go deal with those spiders. Okay, so eight doors. We've got, where's our clay? Uh, bricks. Three. Four of them. So, four bricks. A night ore with our wand. And we also need eight levers. So we'll make another four of them. Our water's boiling, so we'll throw them in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doors. Okay, so basic golem animation core. What do we got in here? Wood, practice, machina, and more wood. Uh, let's grab our glass files. We'll grab that machina. We'll grab this. Uh, yeah, we'll grab the fractus too. Put them in there. Okay. And I'll get my knight in there so it's out of the way. Okay, we've got our basic core. So now we'll make a intelligence core. So we need a fire shard and 12 cognitio. So one fire shard. We'll put them in here now. And how much could need you? We get two from paper. So six paper. Six paper. Whoops. Gotta get that boiling first. There we go. And that's an intelligence core. So how do we, I guess we just take out, make our golem as normal, but we'll put an intelligence core in it. So to make a normal stone golem, we need stone brick, eight animus and eight victus. All right, where's our five stone brick? Eight soul sand and four wheat. Yeah, water boiling in there again. What do we got here? Some leftover Messia and Aqua. They'll be fine. We'll leave them there. So, yes. Take our core. Add our bricks. Place our wand in. And eight of them and four of them. Oops, missed. Four of them. There we go. So a smart golem worker. So was that the right one? Yes, smart golem worker. Okay, where's our brain in the jar? Hey! Chest ate it. So it was a brain in the jar and a slime ball. And just cognitio? And a Cognitio, Victus, and Animus. So another eight soul sand. Another four wheat. And eight pages. Let's put these in here first. So our golem, our slime ball, and our brain. Our wand. And what have we got here now? Uh, yeah, we'll grab some of these before we dump it all. Let's grab those messier, grab that. And these aren't full jars worth, so we'll just release them. I get my wand back. Release that and release that. Put our wand there. 
Uh, we need to get this boiling. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Was it six or eight? Eight. Two more. Okay, throw our paper, our soul sand, and our wheat in. And we get an advanced stone golem worker. Alright. Now uh, let's just see what we've got here. We'll grab that vinculum, grab that messier, grab that too, and we'll grab that water. Oops, not in there. And we'll put them all away. Alright, so we have an advanced worker. So let's set him up. Actually, for the sake of it, let's set him up next to this. Oh, look at that! He's got a little brain! That's cool! So... <laughs> don't worry, I'm definitely not plotting anything. Ah, that's amazing. Alright. So, we can tell him... We'll be able to tell him to put bars and ingots into this chest and other items into this chest. I think. But we might look at that later. We'll get him back. He ate the chicken, that's fine. So yes, he has six slots. We'll put him there. Okay. I think that's enough for this episode. So we've unlocked Advanced Golems, the Intelligent Animation Core, and the Arcane Ear. So, very interesting. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.